Oh, look at that. That's a massive crappie. Massive crappie. See how hungry they are right off the bat? All right, y'all. Minnows under a slip bobber. Still one of the best ways to fish, in my opinion. That's all it is, just an opinion and a preference. Right off the bat, what is that? That's a minnow, brother, that I threw in there. Woo, is that a crappie or is that a bass? That is a massive bluegill. Look at the size of this thing. Guys, that's how you catch bluegills with a minnow. Woo beautiful. <laughs> Look at that, Joel. Absolutely beautiful. Multiple different ways to catch these bluegill, y'all. What's your favorite way? That's up to you. Let's take a look at that beautiful one. Very nice. Let's talk about our setup, shall we? I'm fishing for these bluegill on this setup is six foot six ACC crappie stick, Fluger, that is an SP30, four pound high vis mono, slip bobber with a slide weight down to an Aberdeen hook, and that is a size two Aberdeen hook. That's how we're catching these bluegill with minnows. Yes, you got him. Here, it's your fish, brother. Another beautiful bluegill. Another bluegill. Yep. All right. All right. Save you a trip, huh? Yep. <laughs> and it didn't take your minnow. <laughs> All right, guys. It's a pretty one, Carl. Mike's got a nice one, y'all. What you got, Mikey? Big old crappie or big old bass? Uh, Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Get that dead chewed up minnow. <laughs> Guys, catching monster bluegill on minnows. Live <laughs> minnows. Check that out. That is what I'm talking about. Good job, Mike. That's fun. It is. Let's do its thing right there. See what happens. I'm already under. <laughs> run, run, run. Got him. All right, y'all, that did not take long at all. That is a beautiful crappie. Is it a crappie? Uh, yes, sir, that is a crappie. No, that's a monster bluegill. Big old bluegill. Wow. Nice. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. We are not keeping any bluegill today, but if we were, that would definitely be an eater. Look at that. That is what I'm talking about. All right, guys, Mike has got one on the minnow under a bobber. Be a big old crappie or a big old bass. It's or a big old, old bluegill. Look at the size of that big, thing. Big, fat bluegill. Look Mike just that. doubled up. He got the massive bluegill and a bluegill down there. <laughs> Good job, Mike. It went down like a crappie too, but it is not. Very nice. That is beautiful. Good job, Mike. Got him. All right, guys, both minnows just went down. Mike's just went down, and now I'm bringing mine in. Oh, we got another nice bluegill. Very nice. Look at that. Catching bluegill on live minnows, y'all, and these are medium-sized minnows. Beautiful. Guys, what we're trying to show you through this fishing series is that there are many, many different ways to go fishing and catch these fish. Go out and explore and experiment and find out which one you enjoy, which one you prefer the best. You know, and become a better angler. That's what it's all about. So far, we've shown you the Rock Creek hair jig tipped with the crappie nibble. We've shown you a worm underneath their trout magnet. We have shown you the rooster tail. Now we're showing you a minnow underneath the bobber. So lots of options, y'all. All right, Mikey. Crappy. It's a crappy bass. Got a black crappy. Oh, no, 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 you don't. Beautiful, Mike. Good job. Yep. Beautiful, guys. Look at that. Da, Very da, nice. Da, da, da. Yeah, oh, 
Yes, sir. Come here. That's a crappie. Got my first crappie, y'all. Very nice. And that is a beautiful crappie. Let's put you right here. Oh, yeah. That's kind of what we were waiting for. Very nice. On the minnow, under a bobber. Oh, yes, sir. Hopefully it's, it's a turtle. Aww. A snapping turtle. Hey guys, look what I just caught. That is not a, uh, that is not a crappie. That is not a bluegill. That is a snapping turtle. We're getting him unhooked and get him out of here. Got it. Got it? Guys, I think that may be a crappie. That is a bass. bass. Right there. That's what we're talking about, y'all. Beautiful. Fun way to summer fish. Get live minnows. Throw them on a wire hook. All right, take a look at that. Beautiful. You know, guys, initially when this mudslide happened over here, we were somewhat devastated because we're like, wow, that's going to be a lot of work to fix that. But the trees falling in have actually created a very concentrated portion of this uh, pond that has fish on it. So bad that it fell in, yes. But for right now, we'll take advantage of it because that created some really good fishing. All right, y'all, we're going to do a minnow under a bobber. You guys know this is one of my favorite ways to fish. Just my preference. I'm not saying it's better than anyone else's way to fish. And I'm not saying you ever have to fish this way. I just, I like to catch fish. And it's hard to, uh, it's hard to beat. Everything likes live bait. It is first thing in the morning. It is about, uh, I'd say 6.45 about 64 to 65 degrees we have not had a cool morning in a while we've been averaging around 73 degrees see if we get any action all right y'all taking this minnow we're gonna go through the mouth come out through the gills flip it over put it through the back easy way to catch Mike, crappie right there Mike you're under big time oh, you're, down too. you're down here brother that's a big fish. <laughs> that might be a bass. You got it? Yeah. Keep the tension on him. Oh, yeah. Don't break that. Get that bad boy out of here. What is that? Big crappie? Oh, look at the size of that bluegill. Big old fat bluegill. Look at that. On a minnow. On a minnow. <laughs> I looked up at your pole. It's going, Roop. that is awesome. Yeah. Good job, Mike. That's pretty look cool. Look at that. He just spit the minnow back up. Oh, Mike. There you go. Got him. Come get your fish, brother. Another massive bluegill. Another big old bluegill. Wow. Another oh no, that's a crappie. crappie. That's a black crappie. There you go, All Mike. Right. Good job. Well, I'm happy to see that. That's guys, pretty cool. Guys, Mike was getting his fly pole ready and I figured I'd come over and give him a little help. <laughs> <laughs> guys, I have something tapping the minnow over here. Oh, here we go. Yeah, Mike, they're all right here. These are all, oh, look at that. That's a massive crappie. Massive crappie. Guys, look at the, oh my God. <laughs> this is the biggest crappie I've caught in a long time. Yes. Oh my. Yes. That's one of the hogs we put in. <laughs> look at that white. Woo. That's a white crappie. Guys, that's what I'm talking you about. You got to measure it on top of Oh that. my goodness. Hold on. I got to get a. <laughs> That's Dude, pretty cool. Look at that. We got to measure them real quick here. Oh, yeah, it's on your. That's at least 14. Yeah, inches. put that down. Oh, There's it's going to be over 14, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God, that's a freaking. That's 15. 15, <laughs> 15 inch, y'all. And he's fat. Been eating good. Oh, yeah. Eating good in the neighborhood. Let's let this one go. That's awesome. Right off the front of the. Not even a. Right there. <laughs> that's great. Yep. <laughs> All right. I literally had it. Mike, it was like, it was like right there. Two foot? Two and a half, three foot. Okay, that's what I got. I'm just going to do this again. 
Look at that. Got him. That's another crappie. No. Yeah. Yeah. That's oh my goodness, guys, that is two in a row. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I think you found the school of them right there. Another white crappie. That's freaking 12 inches, dude. No, that's a black bear. Yeah, that's a black crappie. Take a look at that, y'all. Oh my goodness. Yeah, needs a little bit of meat on that one. That's why you get outside and go summer fishing, y'all. Wow. Nice. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Nice, nice, nice. That's two in a row. <laughs> Let's see if they have a friend. Look at that. Got him. Guys, there's a school of crappie right now. Nope, that's a bass. That's the bass. There's a hole or something right here. There's got to be. Dude, cast it in there. Because that's a dead minnow. All right, y'all. That is three in a row. Off this little five-foot right spot right here. It's insane. It is. Oh, yeah. It's a big old bass. That's what I'm talking about, brother. Good job. Look at that, guys. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. There we go. Got it. And that is another crappie. All right. Crappie number three. They're over in the shade. That is a black crappie, y'all. Guys, we've shown you now on two different locations what we still think is the best way to catch crappie no matter what season it is. Absolutely beautiful. Check that out. Let's let that one go. Go get bigger. Absolutely.